calling Diego right now. He's gonna answer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome, my man. How you doing? I'm doing good, bro. We call this the turning point moment with Diego. So we can't go nowhere. This is our new location of how things are going to be ha- going on and happening. What I was going to say was, um, I'm just going to start it out because I feel like uh, some people need to know. I feel like they've heard your story, but not really. They always hear like bits and pieces. Bits. Yeah. yeah. So you have two older brothers who grew up skating, right? Yeah, two older brothers, Ruben and Ricky. Who first started skating? Was it Ruben or Ricky? I, honestly, it was Ruben and then Ricky. And then I think, you know, they kind of like, since they're like a couple years older than me, they're already more in tune on things. You know, I was like real young. So um, they probably jumped on at the same time. But Ruben was for sure first and then Rick. And then it was me like a couple of years later. Uh, Ruben got me a board for my birthday. Uh when I was 25 years old. Cause I was like always using his shit and, and he was kind of like, you know, well, we see like probably that, you know, he's really fucking with it. So when we get him his own little board, he was around with us. So ended up getting me one. And then, yeah, that's why I remember so brief was that, that first board. They just brought you around with them out street skating too? Cause they're a lot older yeah. than you. That's why I was always hanging with their homies and their homies are older and shit than me. So we, we were done. I was just always around older heads, dude, like, always. So I was just watching what they were doing. They were, like, doing, like, you know, jumping stairs and, and, and doing, like, all, like, these crazy tricks that I had no clue what they were at the time, you know. And, and, and I just thought I had to do what they were doing. And so that's like kind of why maybe I, I just kind of started going wild when I was little and just jumping shit and started stacking random shit in the backyard, just... I just like to jump off shit when I was little. Because I remember seeing that footage of you. I actually found it the other day, the old video part, jumping off of, like, your backyard. I was so little compared to them that that you could stack it higher, and I weighed nothing. So I wouldn't, like, mess up with, like, the stability of the fucking bricks and shit, you know? So, like, that's why when, when if you watch those old parts, they're stacked, like, probably 10 blocks, you know? That shit's unsafe as fuck, like... <laughs> But I was so little that I weighed nothing, so it was cool, you know? Your parents so, at all weren't like, no, 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 mijo, don't say Yeah, like, they were tripping, they were tripping. They come outside, see these fucking boxes with the center block, and then on top of that, more center blocks with a fucking bench. Dude, they were tripping, for sure. They trusted what we were doing, really. But they, at the same time, when you see your kid or some shit, that's it. that would be kind of crazy. We have no idea if you're not a skater, you know? Was it like you focus on learning flat ground, or was it like Ruben inspired you because he was... So techy and like, well, it's all, it's a lot of that. It's like you know, the inspiration from my brother and just growing up with watching skating and seeing how tricks look. Uh, it's just like, damn, I'm trying to learn. You know, I'm trying to learn like everything I could do regular. I do switch. I do fake. I do nollie. So if I do kickflip, make sure I do a switch, fakey nollie, heel flip, switch, fakey nollie. You know what I'm saying? Like everything, trays like. I just made sure I, 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 when I was younger, just I just wanted to learn every variation, every stance of each trick. Um, and at the time, it's kind of all we somewhat had from where I grew up was like not much. And there's this place called Buckland Park. We would just get down there with all the homies for many years, multiple years, dog, like all of us. Um, we didn't have a park till like probably three years ago when they barely built one in the city. There was one down, down like another city, but that's like 20 minutes to get to that one. If we didn't have a car, you couldn't go and shit. So like if you didn't, if you, if you, and if you, oh, and there's like a five block, but if you're not trying to jump down a five block every day, you know, it's not going to work. I think that's one thing that stands out with, with seeing you skate is the, your flat ground ability. I mean, you could skate a lot of different things, but I feel like, Watching that one video that uh, Ben filmed from Grand, where you skating in that basketball uh, basketball court in New York and doing all these flat uh, ground tricks. If I could choose, which I do choose, mostly for the most part when I go skate, you know, it, I just would like to personally skate flat. You know, that's like where I get my most joy. Like, I got to just, you know, you don't got to stress yourself out. You just chill and skate and have fun and enjoy that you can fucking push around and pop some tricks and do this and that. You know what I'm saying? It's like some simple, some simple shit, but it just, it meets, it meets what I look for, like the satisfaction. Other than actually, like sometimes I get the bug to where, 
oh, I want to actually learn something new, you know, and then I'll go back and get that bug of, like, learning something new. Or I want to film or get some, you know, make a part. But, like, for the most part, it's like, skating flat's always been my number one since I was a kid and shit. Just because that's what, what, what I, all I had growing up, no matter what I was going through. I didn't, I didn't fuck. I said, fuck it. Go skate some flat ground. You know, that's just all over the world. You can find flat anywhere, you know, and just fucking have at it. Was there a point of like, damn, I want to do this for real, for real, or? No, I mean, there, there was always a, no, there was always a point where I want to do this for real. But there was a point where I was like, I don't know if this is going to happen for real. When I was filming you during the ammo days, I knew you were destined to be where you're at today. But being part of that progress was like, you just never knew when it was going to happen. When we started filming real hard, going out with the, during like, you know, the ammo days, that's when it was like a different type of spark, like more like, you know, a different, a different group of people who, you know, just like noticed who, who wanted to show that love, you know, like, like my brother always showed, like my brother did his, you know, his part, what well, well, what we always did for all those years, you know, but I just, you know, everyone knows at a certain point in time, growth is, is, is needed. I, Cause I could see it too. I remember the first time you came up was like, we went to temple school and you did those two lines and I remember like 15 minutes and I was like, holy shit, who is this kid? Like you did the back swing nose grind, switch over the table and I was like, what the heck? I, just, I knew you, you had something in you that like just seeing the progression and then of course over time, you know, dropping that video part and um, I mean, you got it done in a good amount of time. It was a lot, you know, having you trek from El Centro or coming from San Diego and then staying in LA for two days and then filming as much as you can in two days and then going back and you know put a lot of pressure on you and you were, and you were trying to graduate high school so you had all that pressure around you where it was like yo i'm still going to school but i'm also skating and i was like i need to get my high school diploma you know so my mom is happy my yeah. dad's happy so it's like you got to please a lot of people you know being a teenager and trying to like also Please yourself in a sense of like trying to progress in what you were doing. Yeah, I'm trying to understand, you know, like I said, what I was doing, that shit wasn't really popping off. And, then, you know, you start to realize, and it's because you're young. Everyone at a young age goes through those states, you know, where you're like, depending on where your life is, you're like, like what's really going down right now? Like, you know, some, some really don't understand, some do. And I was just like in that state, but then that shit changed. And once I started coming to LA, linking with you guys, and then. Fast forward a couple of years and, and um, you ended up on Primitive. And I remember seeing that, that moment, dude. I, I, I went back the other day and I looked back at the clip of you first seeing your board. Have Matt when he was designing it. And mm -hmm. I just saw your face. was just like, yo. It's just like, think about it. It's the whole family, dog. Like, going back, like, when you really go back, Manny, Felix, you, Paul, you know, you guys would already be linking up prior than the days of primitive you know what i'm saying yeah no it's wild and it, then and then he created his, his own company and then we end up together still close yeah because i was like during the time i met paul because i was i was with you guys too you know seeing the change from 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 ammo to primitive and now being on april it's like i what i was trying to say was you were saying the change the change of life he needed yeah to like Nothing lasts forever, and it's with anything. You know, as long as people stay connected and everyone's grounded with each other, I feel like that they'll never, there won't be that weirdness of change. But I guess in skateboarding, every time someone leaves a company or something, it's always like this weird, this person's leaving or this person's getting out. It's like, I think it should just be like a graduation. I think it should just be no bad. In my eyes, I feel like when people leave companies, I feel like it should just be like a considered a graduation. Like, all right, you're going on to something better if this is what you think is, you know, better for you. And like, we wish nothing but the best, you know? That's the way I, the way I view it. But it's I feel like, like... It's, it's skating, man. Like, we should all, we should all not even like, you know, like, once, at one point in time, people were, you know, once not, not like, not like it was hated, not, not, not hated, but like, they kind of looked at it differently. And then, you know, every, anyone who had a board united together and was like, yo, we're like brothers, you know, like if you're, a, you got a board, we're brothers. And, and it's like, it's grown to be now to where it is to this day. And it's like, yo, depending on what you do during those times of, of, of why you're moving or switching teams or like, you know, if you fucked up, you, you know, you got to live with the fuck up or if you've, if you've been straight, you did what you did and you kept it real. 
and you just letting it be known like you know you want to grow as a human as for yourself then do let it be because it's like yo they're being a grown individual you know they're not like going goofing off doing the nonsense you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like it's actually for like a good move a good a good vision like this person understands you know where they want to go in life so it's, at that at that point you should be like no, no doubt. You do go go do your thing. You know, like you're trying to. It's the homie. I think it becomes your homie. If not, then it's just a business. But it just depends where you want to open up to people. You know, and that's how I see it. Like, and 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 that's why all of us kept it so close because it's that's what it is. It's like brothers and shit. It's like true family. Just want to see each other grow. It's just what it is. You know, even you, you the whole the whole story, a whole a whole shit. You know. Yeah, it's kind of it's wild, bro. It's, but it's cool. So we we've up, always. Like, We've always like kept that, you know, connection and contact and reach out. Yeah. Kept a close distance regardless of what it was. It should be both parties should be happy, but I think at the end of the day the person who's making the change, as long as they're happy with this decision, I think the other person should be happy as well. But um on that side note, um, do you have a favorite skate video? But yeah. if you could narrow one right now. If I could toss one on and watch the whole thing and be Baker. Any like Baker four, Baker three. Wow. Baker, that's yeah. that's definitely definitely uh, different. I would have thought you would have been like, yeah, right. But Baker, okay, that's cool. I mean, I- it's like, 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 cause, dude, that shit's like, like when you look at that, that like, that's like that was during those times. Like that's some shit, you know. Like even people I grew up on skating, Ellington Reynolds. Yeah. I just like trick choice and style of skating, and even now, the, just everything. Oh, that's I could watch that shit. Baker Street. That's a, yeah. That's a, that's a, that's definitely a classic. I had a lot of different styles of skating in there, yeah. different personalities. Um, oh, come, you can literally watch the whole thing, and it's like you forget what you're, you're watching. Like almost a skate video. You just like damn, these are just homies who made a video, you know, and they they skate. You know what I'm saying? They just live and shit. How did the ETN kickflip thing happen? Because like you've been wanting to do a kickflip over a table a long ways, but like how did they? pick you to do that like that was that was kind of like not random but it was just like all right i guess i gotta go do this the idea came about tori um having a conversation with me that he's like yo i'll bet you some some bread if you kick the ball the table long ways right he's all that he tried it but he thinks that i could do it and i was like i'll try you know i actually had it in mind already i didn't know he was trying he, he has he had tried it uh, prior, but then I was like, you know, I gave it a shot. Went a couple. I went actually back for like I think it was three days. That, that was that out. was, bro. I have all the tries. Like I wanted to put it out because it's it takes a while, you know. Yeah. And bro, them tries, bro. Are you going over that yeah. table? The board hitting you like. There's a bunch of shit. We got kicked out like the first time I got kicked out that school. The cops came and we tried to skate again. They wasn't having it. And then we had to go to a whole another day, a whole another weekend because. During the time, you know, L.A. street spots, everyone knows how how that shit gets sometimes. So, and I think they were doing that live, right? Were they it doing? It was live, dog. We had so much. It was that so was much the first cameras. one was live. They were like, you know, what, let's just film it all and then let's put it out as an edit. Yeah, that's, that's why true. it came out. That shit was a while ago too. I don't even remember. So all, all the whole story, but it was live. <laughs> I I feel like when tricks like that, like or just tricks in general, I feel like you black out and forget. Like in that moment. You were just like flying over it and then boom, you just like somehow made it to the other side and landed it. Yeah, when I landed it, I was like, oh fuck, I landed it. All the other betting and shit kind of disappeared in my mind. I was like, I'm just trying to kick with this shit now. I'm going to give a fuck. Like. Bro, you were going. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put something out. I'm going to put, I'm going to put, I'm going to show, I'm going to show this kick flip right now. It was definitely a time in history, for sure. I was, like, tripping on I'm like, I was going through my hard drives the other day, and I was like, oh, shit, I have this. This is crazy. Got to bring that up and talk to him. Well, thanks, Diego. I appreciate you, bro. Um, you know, hopefully we can skate one of these days, hopefully soon, when all this quarantine shit goes away. But if not, I'm going to catch you on the FaceTime. Yeah, you already know, bro. Appreciate you always. And like you said, hopefully this shit goes away soon. We can get out there and fucking hang together and shit. Everyone. But yeah, yeah man. FaceTime you and shit. Fucking hopefully get a game system and play with your ass on. FaceTime game escape. Alright, bro. Peace.